Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Dipankar and in this video we will be talking about data raptor transform action. This is an interesting data raptor which does not deal with extracting the data or saving the data. It does some intermediate transformations as the name suggests, right? So let's go to data raptor transform, right? So there are some examples that this data raptor transform can be used for. Let's say we want to restructure the input data and uh, change the output format to something else or let's say we want to reparent uh, the node of an input data or let's say we want to use some logic to find a value based on the value that we are present in this input data right or let's say we want to insert an entirely new node and show it in the output so these are some examples that we are using the data adapter transform for so let's quickly go to salesforce omni studio and do our hands up so i hope you guys have watched my previous video in which i was explaining about data raptor extra action right so if i come and execute it it should ideally give me some results right so this gave me some results so we will consider this output from this data raptor extra action as the input for our data raptor transform actions right so let's come to data raptors tab and let's click on this new button so i'll name it to dr transform account contact details right and here the interface type should be transformed right so i'll click on save this was all needed right so if you see here it has a formula tab it has a transform tab the options tab is all, uh, present in all the data raptors and some for the preview tab right so we are going to play around with these formulas and transforms right so let's do one thing let's quickly copy this output from the data raptor extract and let's try to modify it a bit so let's come to this json block right in this json block let's say uh, we want to restructure our node right the first example we want to do is the restructure our node let's say i don't want to make it to account details so let me change it to step one because in future i might be using this inside an omni script step right and the second thing let's say we want to reparent the node right so let me copy this contact node right i want to make the parent of step one right so inside step one i'll paste this contact details we are reparenting it right and the third thing is let's say we want to use some logic to find out the value let's say we get the shipping street city postal code and country so now based on this value i want to make a new value that should be shipping address right and let's say the last example we want to insert a new node let's say i want to insert a new node that is known as current date time right so we'll do this one by one right so basically i have the input over here let me copy again and let me come to this data raptor transform so basically you see there is input json and there is expected json output so this uh, data that we are getting from the extract that should be our input json right so i'll take it and i'll paste it over here so we'll say that this is our input json and now we are playing around in the json blob right so we'll copy this and i'll uh, paste it in the expected json output because this is the json output we want right now either i can do it manually or i can do a quick match right so let me do a quick match i hope you have understood the quick match in my previous videos if you have not yet please go and watch that video as well so let me click on quick match right i'll leverage the auto match capability over here and i can see that there is nothing for the current date time and shipping address so for these two things i have to use the manual mapping right so whatever is available in the quick match let's click on save right now if i come to preview you can see the input automatically pre-populated this input is basically pre-populated from the input that i have given over here 
now if i click on execute we are going to see two things first we have restructured the node right here we have restructured the node from account details to step one the second thing we have reparented the node right here contact details right let me minimize both of these things the contact details was coming directly inside this json right but now its parent has been changed over here let me go to the transform the parent has been changed right the parent is now step one and there is two more things that we have to do you have to use the logic and insert a new node right and we have used this transform but we haven't used the formulas yet right so let's use this formula so let's say i want to insert a new node let's say i want to insert the new node as current date time right i will name as current date time but what should be the value for this current date time there are actually a lot of prepaid functions that have been provided by omni studio let me leverage one of them right i'll simply say now so this now should be as current date time and the second thing let me let me see uh, in the preview we have something called shipping city country street and postal code i want to concatenate these four values and make a new value new node that is known as shipping address right so let me do that as well so for that there is also some function provided by velocity that is called contact i am interchangeably use velocity and omni studio both are same so basically i want to concatenate let me go to the input here i want to concatenate account details shipping street city country and postal code right so let me do that so to concatenate shipping street so first i have to write the parent node that is account details then i have to give a colon then again i have to rip shipping street and let's say after that i want to give a space i have given a space then again let's say i have to uh, after shipping street i have to concatenate the shipping city so for same so first i have to write account details then i have to use shipping city again i have to use a space right and let me copy this and we can do the same things for postal code and country so i will rename uh, change it to postal code and again i can change this to country and i can change the result path right i want the result path's name should be shipping address right so now we have got all this uh, formula results pass let's utilize these things right so i'll come to the transforms right and here the input json path if i scroll down there is something called as current date time and in the output json path i can make it to step one colon current date time similarly for the second one right uh, for the shipping address i can change it to step one colon shipping address right so let's try to execute it so now you can see that uh, the data has been pre-populated and also specifically let's see the shipping address this has been concatenated with the street then city then postal code and then the country right and again the current date time should be somewhere here the current date time is populated with the current date time and you can see one more thing i have done some type over here there is three p's in the shipping street can we change it to two p's right yes we can do that so let me go to shipping street i can edit it i can remove a p and i can say, click on save and if i click on execute you will see the shipping street has been changed right so i think that is a brief overview of data raptor transform action please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or queries and thank you for watching the video.